This is an oldie and goodie. I'm sure you know about it, but just in case, here's how to do it. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet, and a while back in a haul, I bought these lovely little tissue paper craft kits, and they were absolutely the cutest thing. I hadn't seen them before. Inside comes with a little foam, um, styrofoam shape. This one's a fish, and there's color codes, and each one of these numbers stands for one of the little tissue papers that they give you, one of the colors, and then you also get a stick to apply them with. You supply your own glue, but I also thought that this is such a simple activity. You might already have these materials at home and don't even need this. So if you have some paper, heavy cardstock, I'm using construction paper here, some tissue paper. I have these tissue paper squares from Lakeshore Learning. I just had them on hand because I like that they were pre-cut and they're pretty affordable when you use a coupon or find them on sale. Um, a pencil and some school glue. If you have these things, then you are just set to go. I'm just gonna put some glue here on a paper plate because it's just easier for me to use. And this is an oldie and goodie activity. So some of you already know about this, have done this, have seen it on Pinterest or whatever. I used to do this when I was in kindergarten and I remember it well and I remember loving it. And what was really fabulous about it is it's great for hand-eye coordination and really fun. Then I'm just gonna take a piece of paper and a marker. And you can do any shape, any kind of thing you want. Uh, for sake of simplicity, I'm gonna do a heart, any size you want. You can do a whole bunch of them and cut them out for, uh, for garland. And then you're gonna pick your color tissue paper. And all you do is put the paper on top of a pencil, the eraser end of a pencil. Fold it around, give it a little twist, and then you just dip the tip in your glue and then you apply it to your shape and pop out your pencil so it sticks up like this. And you just continue doing this until your shape is all the way filled. And like I said, these kinds of activities for little ones and even older children are a lot of fun because it's great for fine motor and really getting in there and using your hands to apply these little squares. The possibilities are really endless. You can use these in, on the fronts of birthday cards. You could, like I said, make a whole bunch of one shape and use them as garland if you wanted to. You could do a whole collage and scenery using different colors for each scene. Some of the shapes we like to do are hearts. We like to do just regular shapes, squares and circles. Rainbows are also popular because you can do all different kinds of tissue paper. You can make this if you're a homeschooler, do it according to the theme of your week. So if maybe you're doing fish, you can do a fish collage. Now, like I said, I know many of you probably already knew about this activity, already did it, or maybe you'd forgotten about it and you um, can come back to it and try it again. Just put down in the comments if you've done this before and if it's been a great success or if you have any tips you'd like to share with me and everyone else because really all of your comments are super important and matter and I think that we learn from one another on how to do things better. Don't forget too that I have a giveaway going on right now. I'll link that below in the description box where you can see the video where I talked about it. And then once it's dry, that's you can choose to cut it out if you wish. So I did a heart here. I would cut it out after it's dried and I could even make a garland from that. Or you can just leave it on the picture as is and color around it. And you can make a kind of a mixed media picture collage if you wanted to. Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this. Give me a thumbs up to show your love and also enter that giveaway. I'll link it below. See you later. I'm gonna print them out and use them. This makes a great busy bag. They are just flashcards and what you do is match them up. 